Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing quetzals. These iconic birds are well known in their region as some of the most splendidly colored species gracing the forest canopy. These birds come in bright green, iridescent hues, with males sporting startling red bellies. There are currently five described species in the quetzal genus. Sometimes a sixth species is considered, which is classified in a separate genus. The sixth species is also commonly known as a trogon. All quetzals are trogons, as they're all part of the trogon family, but they stand apart by their green, iridescent feathers, long tails, and long wing coverts. Quetzals live from Mexico to Bolivia and Brazil, depending on their species. Their range is not a continuous expanse, but rather fractured forests and tree canopies. These birds live in highland habitats, like cloud forests, with high humidity and trees over 150 feet tall. They live from half a mile above sea level to two miles up in the mountain tops. The fragmented nature of their habitat and the lack of study on their populations could mean these birds are impacted by habitat destruction. Quetzals need rotting trees and tree cavities in which to build their nests. Without these places, they face dire consequences. It's possible there are more than five quetzal species as well. Because their range is made up of pockets of usable habitat, some populations have been separated for many generations. More research could lead to new findings about how exactly these birds should be classified. Quetzals reach about 15 inches in body length on average, but this amount doesn't account for their tails. Male and female quetzals can be told apart because females are not as brilliantly colored and males have longer tails. In the same way a bellbird's beard can be longer than his body, a resplendent quetzal's tail can more than double his body length, though they don't reach quite as long in other species. These tail feathers are used for display to attract a mate, and are molted at the end of the breeding season each year. Quetzals are believed to form monogamous pairs. Males call to attract females. Here are some quetzal calls. The breeding season lasts from the beginning of the year until mid-year, and both parents take part in incubating the eggs and caring for the chicks. Nests are dug out of rotting trees or pre-existing cavities are taken over. The female lays two sky-blue eggs on average that hatch about three weeks later. A month after that, the babies are able to fly. It's when they're at this age they're the most vulnerable to predation. Predators to quetzals include squirrels, hawks, eagles, toucans, and more. It's unknown how long quetzals live in the wild, but they've reached more than 20 years old in captivity. Outside of the breeding season, during the other half of the year, quetzals live alone. These birds prefer fruit as their main source of food. They eat berries and droops and have a specific preference for the laurel family fruits that look like little avocados. This behavior is important because quetzals are seed dispersers. They don't remain at a tree for very long, and when they wolf down their meals, they swallow the seeds too. These are later regurgitated away from the original tree at which they were eaten, so the seeds are spread through the quetzal's range. When fruit is less abundant, they'll also eat insects like beetle grubs and caterpillars, as well as lizards and frogs. For more facts on quetzals, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.